Introducing Singo, a powerful single injection treatment for the management of osteoarthritis pain. Singal is a combination visco supplement that combines the long-lasting benefits of a cross-linked hyaluronic acid with a well-established and fast-acting steroid. Hello, I'm Robert Deacon. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. I have a practice that specializes in the treatment of conditions of the knee including sports medicine, knee ligament reconstruction, and knee osteoarthritis. I've been in practice for 30 years, and I've been an advocate since the early days of my practice for the use of hyaluronic acid injections in the knee for the treatment of osteoarthritis. There's a growing body of evidence supporting the use of a high molecular weight cross-linked hyaluronic acid injection for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. I use hyaluronic acid injections as a mainstay for the treatment of osteoarthritis of the knee, alongside weight reduction and physiotherapy for improving muscle strength around the knee. Recently, there's been enthusiasm for adding corticosteroid to hyaluronic acid for the treatment of osteoarthritis of the knee. Singal is a preparation which includes 18 milligrams of triamcinolone hexacetonide and 88 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. Studies have shown that a combination of corticosteroid and hyaluronic acid has a more rapid onset of effect in comparison to hyaluronic acid injections alone. The improvement can be noted in one to two weeks in comparison to two to four weeks seen with hyaluronic acid alone. So the benefits of Singal are a rapid onset of effect, a trend towards increased efficacy, and a longer duration of effect. I also feel Singal is best used in patients that show any signs of inflammation in their knees. So if there is a small effusion, or if the knee shows other signs of inflammation, Singal is preferred over hyaluronic acid alone. In fact, Singal has become my default hyaluronic acid injection. It's felt that there's benefit from the treatment of osteoarthritis of the knee earlier in the stages of the disease. Calgren Lawrence grade one, grade two, and early grade three. I'm going to use this model to demonstrate the injection portals that are commonly used. The first would be the anteromedial and anterolateral injection portals. These are similar to what's used in arthroscopy. So just lateral to the patellar ligament in this direction is the anterolateral injection portal, and then the anteromedial injection portal here, just medial to the patellar ligament. These injections are directed back towards the intercondylar notch. The problem with this injection technique is it may involve the fat pad, the anterior cruciate ligament, or the articular cartilage. A more reliable means of injection is to use one of the mid-patellar portals, either lateral or medial, or superpatellar portals above the patella. I use a modified mid-patellar portal, which has been shown by Jackson to be the most accurate. I inject at the superior pole of the patella with the patella laterally displaced, directing the needle down at a 45 degree angle in the coronal plane, and trying to abut or rest up against the patellar articular cartilage. That way I know I'm in the knee joint. I then inject and I look for a lack of resistance on the needle so I know that the injection is in the joint. I don't usually inject hyaluronic acid with a local. There is evidence that a combination of uh, the local anesthetic agents with hyaluronic acid may decrease the efficacy, and it means the patient experiences two punctures as opposed to one. Some patients who express a great deal of apprehension uh, with an injection may benefit from the application of EMLA in the area of injection 30 to 40 minutes prior to the injection. Post-injection, I'll instruct the patient to refrain from vigorous uh, activity for about 48 hours. 
Now they can do day-to-day -day activities, including walking. I encourage them though not to do any vigorous and strenuous physical activities such as cycling or running. I also ask them to refrain from going in a hot tub, pool, lake or river for about 24 hours. This is simply because of the injection and the potential portal of entry of organisms into the knee. It's not uncommon after an injection of Singal to have some irritation at the injection site. There may also be a small area of erythema and perhaps some swelling. I encourage patients to take a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication and apply some ice. Patients shouldn't have dramatic swelling in their knee after the injection and I tell the patient to call me if they have any of these signs.